Just Hockey is the largest supplier of hockey equipment in Australia. With a full range of sticks, pads, shoes and safety equipment, check out the website for the store nearest you, all the specials and the latest hockey news from around the world on Go Hockey News. Just Hockey. It's all hockey. Hello and welcome to Skill Up. This week we're going to be looking at the Tomahawk. Now I've broken it down into four different stages so the girls are going to find it a little bit easier to understand. So the first stage we're going to work on is getting down on one knee like so and the reason why we do this is because the Tomahawk is a very low shot and so we're going to go off the knee and we want to make sure that the ball is in front of us and also in front of our front foot. Okay so when we make contact with the ball I want the, the stick to be hitting the middle of the ball and on a slight angle downwards. And the closer our, our hands are to the ground, the easier the shot is going to be. So with the ball stationary and myself stationary, it's a simple case of getting our shot right on the middle of the ball and executing the skill, like so. Okay, Simone, I want you to jump into that position that I just showed you. Wonderful, that looks really good. Your foot's in the right position. Do you just want to place your stick on the ball? Perfect, okay. Give it a go. Excellent. Ball position's good. All right, give yourself a go. Well done. Okay, I just want to stop you there. I just want you to swap your legs around so your right knee is forward. Wonderful. And I just also want you to pop the ball a little bit further away from your body so you have to reach for the ball. Okay. That's all right. Okay, just stop there. Okay, we're going to swap our hands around, so we want to make sure that our right hand is our bottom hand. Well done, okay. Now I just want you to swing through and have a go. Well done. Make sure you're actually reaching for it so it's, it's more like that. And hit for, hit for the middle of the ball. Well done. Okay, Phoebe, so we're just going to look at your foot position here. What I want you to do is stretch it out a little bit more. And then you're going to move the ball forward a little bit more to give yourself a little bit more reach and a little bit more stretch so you get a little bit more power in your shot. Okay, Genevieve, I just want you to put your foot out a little bit more in front so you've got a little bit more reach. Yep, line, your ball, line the ball up. And what we're going to work on here, make sure that you follow through on the ball and that when you've hit, where you've hit the ball is right in the middle. Okay? Well done. See where your foot is lined up? It's in line with the ball. I want you to have the ball in front of you. So your weight is going towards the ball and this way, not behind it. Let's have a look. Well done. Okay girls, looks like we've got that bit covered. So now we're going to progress to the second part, the second stage. This part is where we go into an elevated position. So we take our back leg off the ground. The reason why we are now in an elevated position is to still remain low. What I don't want to see is when you do hit the ball that your bum comes up. This is because everything else comes up with it and it makes the task of hitting the ball a lot harder. As I said earlier, a tomahawk is a lot easier to do if you keep your hands close to the ground. Knee looks good, just slightly raise that back knee. Looks good, have a go. Excellent. Yep, okay, and keep that bum down, let's have a go. That's all right. And raise your back knee, just slightly. Okay, I want you to put your foot like that so you've got some grip. Well done. Now we're going to look at the moving ball and then we're going to incorporate the moving body. What I want you to do is remember our first two points of staying low and all it is is the same stuff that we've already learned, just a moving ball. Just push the ball and swing through. Okay, I really like the connection that you made with the ball. You had a nice long reach. You made really good position when you hit the ball. You actually hit it in the middle of the ball and you actually got a little bit of lift on it which makes it quite hard for a keeper to um, see. Great shot. You had a nice long stretch which was really good. You actually had some real good power on the ball and it was placed nicely in the corner. Okay Georgie, so the easiest way to learn how to do the one step is to start with our left leg forward. That way when we're only taking one step, we're shooting off the right foot. So one step, shot. Give it a go. Okay Georgie, I see you're having a little bit of trouble there. Why don't we just take it back a step? I want you to go into stage two. So this leg forward, you need to swap these two legs and reach out like we were in stage two and 
and back leg up off the ground. All right, now I want you to keep this foot on the ground and step back with this foot and just put it behind this foot, this foot behind you. Okay, all you're gonna do is step with your right foot and have a shot. Give it a go. Excellent, and push the ball and then right leg forward and have a shot. That's good. Okay, Phoebe, so one thing I noticed is that you were still quite high in your shot and your bum was quite high. Remember, if you're having trouble, go back to stage two and even if you need to, go back to stage one to remind yourself of how low you have to be. We're just gonna take it to the last step now, finish off how to do a tomahawk. So what we're gonna do is, this movement is a lot more relaxed, a little bit more fluent. It's at your own pace and we're just gonna take a couple of jogs, steps in and hit the ball. Nice and relaxed. Couple of steps, shot. So there you go guys, some nice easy steps for you to learn how to do the tomahawk. Uh, key points to remember are that we stay nice and low when we're going to keep our bums down. But where we hit the ball on the stick is around about here on a slight tilt and we're hitting through the middle of the ball and we're going to make sure that we follow through. See you next week guys.